Hmm. Hey, thanks, man. You no problem. I'll, yeah. Uh, I'll message you soon about oh, yeah. getting yeah. anything going. Anyway. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Um, to answer questions in the chat, I can actually see it. Um, that was actually winner semis. Because the other... This is the other winner semis. Because um, we have... Like the top four seeds was Duck number one, Kalmuzu number two, Abu number three, and then... I don't know. We did bracket pools, and they were all the top one seeds, and the way they got put in a bracket was sort of, like, random. And so, we saw that matchup just because the other side was going to be... Well, it was going to be Kalamazoo, Prince Abu. But now, we have Rob, obviously. And... This matchup's a tough matchup for, um... Jogo guy. Just because Puff is so good. But, I actually think it's pretty decent for Falcon. Like, this Falcon kills so early. Uh, I don't know. These aren't top players. I'm gonna miss the capitalization. Yeah, dude, typing's hard. <laughs> Alright. First game goes again to Battlefield, and Prince of Boo immediately puts on some pretty good pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, my mouse is hard to work. No, 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 no. Yeah, my mouse is hard because I turned off mouse acceleration, so, like, no one else can use it right. <laughs> Like, so this this matchup is it's definitely really interesting because Puff can edge guard and deal a lot of damage really fast to uh, Falcon, but Falcon can get kills at like fifty percent or so just from like a down throw knee. So it's gonna come down to whichever player like wins more neutral because their punches are so solid. Like, we saw right there, Joe guy got like it's at the down throw knee, and it, even at like fifty to like seventy eighty percent, you can pretty much get that guaranteed. That's gonna be a stock on a stage that's like this small. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, it's super easy. Between the forward smash and the back air and the forward air, you have so many good options to cover what Falcon does, and it's so hard for him to sweet spot the stage. I mean the ledge. <laughs> yeah, Prince of Boo, definitely a player who is known for his rests. So looking to see one of those. That, that, those are really, really and also can turn the game around really well. That that was a mistake. Yeah, he went he ran too far forward and fast fell, which is pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, that that was uh, a bit of an uncharacteristic like edge guard flip. I don't know Prince of it too well, but I'm pretty sure he usually gets stuff like that and doesn't get hit by <laughs> Falcons up B. It was good on my level, I think. Yeah, yeah, he that was his like first really big win in a while. He. Took on Shroom, so I think it was going Sheik the whole time. Yeah, it's quite possible. He's known for that. <laughs> yeah, that you can't be doing that. Like, like I said, Falcon. It, it did, but like Falcon kill you so easily. You really need to take advantage of what you have, and that what you have in this matchup is edge guards. You have edge guards and you have rests. We haven't seen like m that much of either of those, honestly. He's still in the lead, though. Yeah, generally, like, Puff likes to go out in edge guard, talking with back airs and fairs. The Prince of seems to prefer to stay on stage and try to get, like, forward smashes. It does make sense. Yeah. It's not a bad strategy by any means. <laughs> Good platform move by the little guy. Showing he has a bit of those hack stashes. Like, so Prince of has sort of the percent lead right now. That's sort of deceptive, just because, like, this is long past kill percent, like, for Prince of Boo. And again, that was a bit of a mistake. I don't think he wanted to dash attack. I'm guessing he wanted to try to do it in air there. Maybe even in knee. Even like an up air can probably do it. This puff's so light and goes so far from every hit. Dude, ledge dash down smash? I think it's usually ledge dash knee, you see, not down smash. People get hype in the background for Juggle Guy. 
If he wins this, he'll be in a winner's finals. <laughs> Someone else making the stupid stock of champions joke. <laughs> the call out. Yeah, he's. seen that uh Rest? video of. That's that's mules, yeah. All right, back to this game. And that's gonna be it. Yeah, like I said, the back air recovery off stage is so hard to deal with. Falcon. Prince was taking a quick game one. Mind quick. Well, yeah. I mean, four minutes. It's, it's reasonably quick. For Puff, that's like not too bad. Like, like it. For Puff, that's a For Puff, like you take it. You're like, I'll, 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 I'll deal with that. The guy, he, he always seems to love to go back to the stage. Yeah. He did it against Kalamazoo and it actually worked out. Maybe he's just a fan of the stage. Actually, yeah, that that's a mistake from both players, really. Yeah, I mean, like, exactly I think exactly. if if Puff missed a rest, you don't go for what, like a, like a stomp knee if you can. I think it's more percent than a Falcon Punch. So, Falcon Punch is pretty hype, though. Who knows? <laughs> Gets just clip of that get up attack. People. It sends you pretty far away. Yeah. It's, it's me, man. Like, <laughs> that that was definitely one of those no di moments. You're like, really, really? Yeah, I think <laughs> the Algerian <laughs> di. Shoutouts to Rogi. Yeah, I, I definitely think he was expecting like a. Up throw or down throw and you can't buy it. Joe guy immediately returns, gets the down throw knee again. Happens. Happens. He's, he sort of levels up. <laughs> and then he does a ridiculously stupid like edge guard attempt. And gets punished for it. falling up there. Again, like, he goes he goes out like, striking these edge guards, and Prince of Blue does too much pressure in the mind, recognizes that that's really dumb, and <laughs> gives him takes a stock for it. Did you go out? The problem is, like, you might see it here, no, okay, now, but you can get rest so easy in this matchup, that if you make one, if you just die like that, and you're up like, oh, I'm up 100%, like, one hit from Puff and you can be dead. We see now, Prince of Boo's definitely bringing it back. Taking a long string of aerial, like, stray aerials. Making sure Rob doesn't really get anything done. I love the down throw grab. That should be the stock? Yeah. It's a two stock turnaround for Prince of Boo. He's only taking like, 10% in the meantime, too. It's kind of crazy. I think I can't afford to do any trades right now. Okay, good. Uh, true. No, no, no. No soccer champions. We're not saying anymore. It's done. This tournament is actually designed just to retire that phrase. We don't say it anymore. Yeah. This is something that we notice as hype. He's, yeah, he's hitting so many raw like smashes, just like down smash, down smash. I don't think it's gonna work, but I guess it just does. Oh, in the raw <laughs> just straight meat. He definitely called out Prince of Boo's aerial movement there and knew like he's like, he said, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna throw in a fair. You're gonna try to like land and then do something and just straight knee. 
That's a danger. Like, if you get hit by any one good, strong hit from Falcon as Puff, you're dead. It's what makes it such a, like, doable for Falcon. Even, dare I say it, almost in his favor. Bit of an odd little grab and then odd forward throw choice. One thing, one thing I'm noticing is that Prince of is getting zero rests. Like, he hasn't got any... Alright, that's hype. Let's go. Dude, he's okay. Don't, don't let him think he's good. Air wobbles! We got those! Yeah. We, we like to make fun of Rob by calling the... Little Falcon up bear strings, the air wobbles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in case he goes on our way. We didn't, we didn't get Quang on stream, unfortunately, but we did have one person uh, doing a lot of wobbling today. And Joker is just running away with this. Like, he's gotten so many good aerial combos on the stage. Which is odd because you think, like, this is a bad stage for Falcon. Yeah. I, I do feel like the. The problems for Falcon are sort of overrated in the stage. Like, the platform is kind of stuck when you're down here, but other than that, it's totally fine. You should be good, yeah. Me? Oh, oh, he went for it. I call him, man. He, he can hear me. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, Mars. Didn't quite get me, though. Solid forward air. Gonna seal it out. Oh yeah, he's he's just playing so clean. Like he's not missing the aerial combos that he was missing the last couple games. Me? Hey? He might be. He might be. He's definitely gotten better these past few games, though. He like he hasn't missed that down throw me in a while. That's really good. Is that such a, a good guaranteed kill setup? Look at that knee. Oh, oh! <laughs> trying to do the knee into knee, not quite getting it. And smart get up attack. He saw Prince of Boo trying to charge that F smash and knew what to do. So I, I noticed one thing Rob does a lot when he actually told me to do too, is he loves to do like the wave dash on the stage from ledge and then roll in. Try to get center stage. The problem with it though is that Prince of Boo sort of just sits in center stage anyway, so you don't really get anything when you do it. He almost got punished for it last time. I don't know if that, that's actually intentional. Maybe a bit of a flub. I think that's good. Still got some work to do. Definitely can't rest. Yeah. The problem for him now is that he's at the percent where if you get grabbed, you're dead. Well, the danger too, though, is if you get the rest and he still has a stock left, he can just come back and then down throw it you and you're dead. So, the rest is sort of at not an option that's in play right now until he gets this stock. Oh, well, mistake. Yep. And this this is dangerous now, because one edge guard, one rest, and Rob's done. Definitely back in the play. It's sort of a shame that we don't have the player cam. You can't see how close Abu is, like, how intently he's staring at the screen right now. Yeah, oh, and... That's, uh, very common. Okay, the one problem that Rob's run into right now is that over 100%, your aerials don't combo anymore. So now, like, every, you see every hit hits him far enough away, it's just a straight hit. So now he has to get like, a, a strong up air, a strong fair, or, yeah, a strong fair, because nothing else is going to do it. And there it is. Alright. Game, game three going to Jungle Guy. He's up 2 1 now. And everyone, I think everyone was sort of counting Jungle Guy out as, like, the one player in winners, like, quarters or whatever that, like, wasn't going to really do much. But he's. He's a game away from getting the winner's finals down playing KJH. Yeah. Alright, now we see Prince of Boo go to Dreamland. I like it. Like, he definitely wasn't getting much out of the Final Dream counter pick. Like, Jungle Guy wasn't having to deal with the platforms that badly. Like, it was fine for him. And so I think giving, giving yourself more room and more, like, chance not to die. Like, like, on the last stage, that might have been a kill. This stage is not even close. You need to get about, like, a. 80 to 100 percent now to even get a kill off that down their knee. Oh. I was just about to say the good thing about Pop. Uh, uh, yeah, but that was just bad DI, really. 
Oh, down air. Knee. Do it again. Do it again. Nah. Now we got. We got yo, time him out. Get the get the platform camping. Tournament vibe. Yo, it's tournament guys. Tournament. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. The thing is, if Rob loses after doing like platform camping, he like is off. He's done. <laughs> Moonwalk. Nothing at, came out of it though. But still, it's fancy. It's cool. I like it. Barely dies. That was like I think any lower percent, and he probably would have lived it. So like, once he gets like 90-ish percent, that's a kill. Or not even like it's like 85-ish because you get the down throw into the knee too. <laughs> Good knee. Do it. Oh, knee to knee, taking a quick 50 percent. Jagash is playing so well right now. Like he's getting, he's getting a combo off every single aerial he's hitting, and you need to do that. Because like, if Puff gets combo just from a couple aerials, that that percent just goes such a long way. Yeah, and he's he said his camping, and he sort of started the pace of the game. Like, whenever Principal lands on the ground, he's always stuck in his shield or trying to run away from Rob, never actually getting anything started of his own. Yeah, Falcon throws pretty fast, so it's definitely harder, and Puff's a slower character. I'm guessing Jungle Guy knows what he's doing, and it's only rolling when it's reasonably safe. Or at least hard to punish. If he lives here, okay, I was gonna say, if he lives here, that, that came up to happen. And now, Prince of Boo has a chance to get something started, but one knee, one grab is gonna lead to death. Oh, good little string there, getting 40%. And he's, he's alive, he's alive. So, like, well, I think one more strong up air might do it if your DI is that bad again. Or back here, too. That's gonna be Prince of Boo's last stock in the winner's bracket here. And of course, like we were saying earlier, like rest, he can, he can rest right now that he's at such a low percent, but once he gets to 50% or so, he, can, he can't really like afford to rest anymore. You take so much damage if you do that. Yep. Oh! Does this mean Rob's better? It's quite possible. Yeah. Prince is in a bad situation now. Rob gets stage spiked, but Jigger is still firmly in the lead right now. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah, must learn something from it. That's why you do money matches, I mean. Makes sense. <laughs> Crowd yelling at Rob to calm down. He's playing really aggressively, yeah. I mean, it's worked out for him for the most part. The danger is now that if he gets edge guarded here, like if he gets put off stage and edge guarded, then the rest comes back in play. Yep. Oh. Bad tech! Doesn't get a second time now. And now this is his last stock! He has to be careful. An up tilt or a grab could lead to death here. Same token though, a grab from Jungle Guy will finish Prince of Boo. <laughs> Almost gets it. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. You can't miss text like that, because if he just sharks onto the platform, you can try to get a rest if he reads your roll. And jumps into it. Jungle Guy going to winner's finals against KJH. Wow.